my main goal is to make sure that the ideas that we've developed get carried forward by the next generation of scientists. Well, my interest in science really began with an interest in the environment. Started in middle school, about seventh grade, um, and it was just a couple of years later was the first Earth Day, and I started collecting posters and information and articles about environmental topics. Um, and at that point, I was trying to decide, and I decide I could decide whether to become an environmental activist or maybe an engineer or scientist uh, who developed solutions. And so, what I decided was really to follow the idea of developing solutions or becoming a scientist, um, and that's what I've, I've um, pursued ever since. We've developed a number of technologies here. We've applied them at Savannah Riverside, but our philosophy and the approach that we use is, is generic, and it's applicable anywhere in the world. Um, and so what's happened is people have noticed the success we've had at Savannah River in applying environmental technology. The technologies we've developed have also been used at DOE sites around the country, all over the country, and um, commercial sites. And now we're doing quite a bit of work um, internationally in Russia and Japan um, and other places. At Fukushima, we are part of a larger SRNL initiative where SRNL is providing support to TEPCO and various Japanese government organizations on D&D, decontamination, decommissioning, but also on, um, we're working on groundwater, so the groundwater problems and the harbor water problems. So we're looking at the chemistry of, of water treatment, uh, the flow of groundwater, controlling the flow of groundwater, um, and all the various complicated aspects associated with that. Yeah, my advice to young people who are moving our country forward in the environmental area is that we're on the cusp of a number of challenges, but that I think that we need to take a solution-oriented approach as opposed to kind of a complaint-oriented approach. And I think that's really something where creativity, vision, and some kind of simple uh, forward-moving thoughts are, are critically important to, to um, the approaches that we take.